Hello, and welcome to the CUNY Teacher Education Webinar Series. Today's webinar is going to cover testing strategies for the new Academic Literacy Skills Test. On the webinar today, you have three members of CUNY's Office of Academic Affairs. My name is Jennifer Case. I'll be your presenter for today's webinar. I'm also joined by Ashley Thompson and Angelita Alvarado Santos, who will be moderating the webinar today. If you're having any technical difficulties accessing the webinar, we will archive both the slide deck and the recording at our teacher education webpage, which is cuny.edu slash teacher ed. For today's call, all participant lines will be muted, but questions can be submitted through the chat feature on the right-hand side of your screen. We'll answer all questions at the end of the webinar, and we expect that this webinar will run for approximately 15 minutes. The Academic Literacy Skills Test measures literacy skills necessary to teach in New York State public schools. It includes selected response, or multiple choice questions, and both shorter and extended written response questions. According to the exam framework, all of the items will require the analysis of complex text, and the text will be both informational and literary passages. In viewing the sample questions for the ALST Online, we can see that they contain longer reading passages with a set of multiple choice questions that accompany them. There is also a section where you will read three documents and then respond to a series of writing prompts based on those documents. In terms of the test format, the reading section is assessed entirely through selected response or multiple choice questions. There will be 40 multiple choice questions, which will count for 40% of your total score. The writing task makes up the remaining 60% of your score. And within the writing task, there are two shorter focused response questions and one extended response question similar to an essay. To register for the exam, you go to the NICE-C website, which is listed on the screen. There is a registration cost of $131 to register for the ALST. The ALST is also only available as a computer-based test which means that you will need to go to a Pearson computer-based testing site to take the exam. There are multiple computer-based testing sites here in the city. However, some of the sites fill up quickly. So if you need to test on a specific date or at a specific location, it's important to make sure that you register for the exam early. You can check seat availability and look up testing sites that are near you by visiting the Pearson View website that is listed here. We're now going to go over some testing strategies that you can use when you are taking the Academic Literacy Skills Test. In talking about testing strategies, the first thing that you want to think about is planning your time for the assessment. In speaking to candidates who have already taken the exam, many of them reported that they felt rushed during the exam time. So you'll want to think about how you're going to plan out your time and approach the questions. From the exam framework, we know that you have 210 minutes or three and a half hours to complete the exam. One strategy might be to start with the writing section of the test first, as it makes up over half of your score. You could spend the suggested amount of time on the written items, or 20 minutes for each of the shorter focused response and a full hour on the extended writing response, and then move on to the reading section, coming back to the writing section if you have time at the end. Or you may choose to start with the reading, move on to the writing to make sure that you answer each of the questions, and then return to review your answers to the reading section at the end of the test. You'll want to think about how the exam is scored, the suggested time for each of the exam sections, and your own testing strengths in planning how you will complete the exam. The ALST is offered through computer-based testing, which may be a new format for many people who are taking the assessment. 
The NICE-D website offers a free tutorial on computer-based testing that shows the features of computer-based tests, including how to move between the questions and how to select your answers. In addition, there's a free sample practice test available. The practice test is not specific to the ALST, but it does provide additional practice in selecting answers and navigating through a computer-based test. Because the ALST is offered through computer-based tests, you may want to consider some different testing strategies as you are taking the exam. First, if you are a person who likes to take notes or circle words while taking a traditional test, it's important to note that that feature is not the same feature on a computer-based testing platform. You cannot highlight or copy and paste any of the information that is on the screen. However, you are given a whiteboard to take notes on while you are taking the test. If you do like taking notes during a test, you may want to practice this strategy of reading information on a computer and taking notes on a whiteboard before the day of your test so that this feels more familiar to you. The computer-based platform also allows you to navigate through the test. So if you want to do all of the written questions first, or save a certain section for the end, you have the ability to do that. You also have the ability to flag questions for review. There's no penalty for getting a question on the ALST incorrect. So if you come to a question where you are unsure about the answer, it is better for you to select a choice and flag the question to come back to later than to skip the question and move on. This means that if you reach the end of the test and don't have time to return to questions that you skipped, you've already answered all of the questions. Flagging for questions for review also helps you save time because you don't need to go back through every question on the test to find the items that you were unsure of. Instead, you can just go directly to the questions that you flagged. In terms of general test-taking strategies, You'll also want to think about reading and writing strategies to help you be successful on the exam. One of these strategies is to read the questions first before reading the passages. That helps you identify key terms that you would want to be looking for as you're reading through. And the questions may also point you to specific quotes or paragraphs that you'll want to pay particular attention to when reading the passage. Because you have the whiteboard to take notes, you could also note down any key terms and ideas, both those that come up in the questions, so that you're paying attention to them as you're reading the passages, or any specific quotes or facts that you want to include in your written response when you're going through the writing section. You'll also want to make sure that the answers that you're cho choosing are supported by the information that's included in the text. This is especially important in the writing section, where you will need to provide evidence from the passages that you read to support your written responses. In preparing for the writing section, you'll also want to review the rubrics before you go in to take the exam. You can take note of what you will be assessed on, which includes meeting all of the requirements of the assignment and providing support or evidence for your response. There are two separate rubrics for the ALST, one that is used for the extended response question and one that is used for the two focused response questions. A full rubric with characteristic descriptions of each scoring level is included in the ALST preparation guide. This gives you more detail not just on the content that you will be assessed on, but lets you know what your response needs to contain to receive full credit. There are also some writing strategies that you can use in taking the ALST. First, you'll want to read over the writing prompts before going to the writing passages so that you know what evidence to look for as you are reading. As you read through those passages, you may also want to write down any key evidence that you want to include in your constructed response. Finally, you may want to think of a certain format that you're going to use in planning out your written responses. In your format, you'll want to make sure that you have a claim that answers the question, that you have evidence to support your answer, 
and that you have analyzed that evidence to support your response. There are some materials available to help you prepare for the ALT. To start with, there is a free preparation guide. The preparation guide includes sample questions and answers, as well as the rubrics that will be used to evaluate your written responses. There is also a sample written response that lets you get a sense of the length of the written response answers and also what characteristics a strong written response will contain. There's also a test framework which explains the skills that the test measures. Finally, there is a full length practice test available. It must be purchased for a fee of $29.95, but contains a full set of reading questions as well as a full writing section as well. At this time, that's all of the information that we have for the webinar. We will stay on for just a minute if you have any questions that you want to submit through the chat feature. If you are reviewing this webinar after the fact, or if you have additional questions after our webinar ends, you can always contact us at our teacher education email address that's on the screen, and we will respond to you via email. Thank you so much for joining us on the webinar today, and please review the other webinars that we have included on our CUNY Teacher Education page.